Hi guys, what a wonderful trip in Iceland. So, let's see what happens. Ski Planet, the magazine of the art of living of cross-country skiing across the world, is presented by Montaigne du Jura, the official Nordic destination in France. Welcome in! What a pleasure for me to be back for the 8th episode of Ski Planet by World Lopet, your worldwide cross-country marathon skiing show. A dream come true today, I am in the country of fire and ice, for one of the oldest race in the world, but at the same time, one of the youngest World Lopet race, the Fossavatons Gong Gong. Here, I will show you breathtaking landscape and we will discover a nature like nowhere else on Earth. Guys, welcome in Isa Fjordur, welcome in the West Fjord of Iceland. In this eighth episode, we'll go to Russia to have a look at the winners of the 2019 FIS World Lopet Cup. Then we'll go to Argentina to focus on the Ushoya Lopet. And of course, we'll prepare our next trip to New Zealand. Can't wait. Marika will experience a tasty food and beer tour in Isa Fjordur and will also take part in the Fossevatris Gangen for her first time. But first, let's follow along for a funny sea angling tour in the west of fjords of Iceland. Ah. I'm going to catch the first fish. Just think about it, guys. It's a whale! It's a fish! In the rain, here I am, left alone with your secret. So, um, Ragnar, you're a fisherman. These are the ones that have been all fish. Not all. What kind of fish we can uh, take? Yeah, it's a uh, cod. Cod? Atlantic cod. When you're born in Iceland, you are for sure a good fisher. Good fish? Yeah. Yes, it's fish. It's, it's in your blood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have. You have fish in the stomach? Many fish. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have one. Guys, I tried to catch another fish, but during this time, let's go back to Russia to look at the winners of the 2019 FIS World Lopet Cup. The Russian Ugra Ski Marathon held the FIS World Lopet Cup concluding stage on April 6th, and the 50km free technique race brought on the final decision. Maria Grafnings and Damien Tarantola are the 2019 champions. The French eLiberty ski team member stated, This is the biggest success in my career. It was fun to fight against my teammates throughout the season. I'm satisfied with my sixth place today and of course very proud to become FIS World Lepa Cup champion for the first time. The Swedish star, who won five stages out of seven and finished second once this season, added, Amazing! Finally, I'm FIS World Lepa Cup champion. It was a tough race today. A hard fight out there because of the wind. So I'm very glad not only to win the FIS World Lepet Cup, but also this final stage. Let's take a break with the seals in the northeast race of World Lopet. And let's go to see the southeast one. Let's go to Ushuaia Lopet. So I've been to Swai uh, many times. I've also been here for a trip to Antarctica. Uh, 
Uh, I've been here in the summer and also in the winter. So I love uh, this area of Argentina. I like this place and uh, the organizers made a remar remarkable work. I enjoyed the track, the excellent track. So I made the uh, short race. Uh, I'm concentrating now, now on World of Silver races. Back on the dry land, the fishing party is over and what an extraordinary experience. Two countries in the world are well known for their ship, Iceland and New Zealand. So let's go to Cardona Valley to learn more about the Merino Master. Since the 19th century, Merino sheep have been grazing the hills of the spectacular Mount Pisa. And as the snow fell every winter, hardy sheep farmers worked the flocks down off the ranges to the shelter of the Cordrona Valley. This annual Merino muster, also known as Merino Transhumans, was the inspiration for New Zealand's inaugural cross-country race in 1995 in Snow Farm, New Zealand's premium cross-country ski field. This first race was even sponsored by CSL Animal Health Division because John Burridge, a CSL manager, became an enthusiastic supporter of Snow Farm and wanted to sponsor a race for farmers and their veterinarians. Special trip for World Luppet racers, if you want to see more of the country after the race or before, we recommend you to allow lots of days, rent a car and drive back to Christchurch either through the Mackenzie country or New Zealand's unique west coast. Isa Fjordur is producing three of the tastier speciality of Iceland, fish, bread and beer. This afternoon, I met Arnie and Rosa, the actual owner of the oldest bakery of Iceland, favorite bakery of the former Iceland president, Olafur Ragnar Grimsson. I have been a bakery, a old bakery, for more than 50 years, more than half a Then, I had the chance to meet Akon, founder of the first and newest brewery of Westfjord, probably the craziest guy of Isafjordu, because he started his activity Without any knowledge on beverage, trust me, it was right Let's to go. try this adventure. Let's go. Let's go! Thank you. To finish this beautiful afternoon, let's have a ride with Grimmer. He will show me how to dry the big coats I catch today. So, tell me where are we? We are in Isafjörður, where we dry the fish from the old ways in Iceland and do it for many a thousand of years. Since how many years you are a drying dryer? Oh. My father started in 85, 4, 3, 4, 5, I'm not sure, 3, 4. So I have always worked when I was so small. I always helped him around this. So now this is my job. So show me what kind of uh, fish you have. Yeah, this is catfish. Or normally we start catfish in February. Okay. Now they start to have much catfish, the fish in many. Catfish is have, when it eat and get fat, they have the oil inside here. Okay. In the fish. Or when you eat dry fish, someone like it only dry, and someone like it oil, Oily. it get okay. more tasty. Okay. And better. Cross country skiing, uh, uh, feeding, it's perfect. Yeah, it's good. It's good protein. <laughs> okay. So it's very good. And so here, this is a fresh, fresh fish. It's yeah, the beginning. Came, yeah, this came up yesterday. Ah, okay. So this is new one. You can try put it up like this. It's a oh. little bit heavy, cool. Yeah. You try this one. You can try this one. This is ready. It's not heavy. Good. You only have 9% left of this. Thank you very much. 
for the visit. No problem. Now I hope this will give me some power for the Me race. <laughs> My backpack is ready, it's time for the race. Elites are already on the track. Like all World of Pets races, for St. Martin's Gone Wrong is also a race for children. But now it's my turn, let's go. So, darling, how was it today? It was great, darling, but it was quite windy up there. Second place, what do you think about uh, racing in Iceland? Racing in Iceland is definitely uh, the best experience of my life, I think. <laughs> What do you think about uh, the experience of skiing in Iceland? Uh, very nice experience and I can re recommend it. Why people should come in Iceland to race Isa, in Isafjordu? Because everybody is so happy and you get all kinds of weather. So it's an experience you will never forget. It's hot but it's too cold and it's not that you freeze and you just want to be inside but you want to be outside in the cold weather. It's really fun. <laughs> But well, this makes you feel like you feel like a Viking, you know? <laughs> but you are a Viking. Yeah, this makes yeah. you feel like a Viking. <laughs> Where are you come from? I'm from the United States. This is my third year, and I'll be back next year. I love this race. This brings us already to the end of this incredible eighth episode of Ski Planet by World Lopet. Before leaving Iceland, let me show you all these unique things we've seen during our trip. I enjoy a bath in a hot spring in the middle of nowhere. See you in the South Hemisphere for the next episode in August. Ski Planet, the magazine of the art of living of cross-country skiing across the world, was presented to you by Montaigne de Jura, the official Nordic destination in France.